For parents, after a TikTok challenge turned deadly, a 13-year-old boy from Ohio overdosed on Benadryl. And tonight, this case is really sending shockwaves all across the country. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina has a, a lot more on what happened here and how to keep your children safe. Hector? Well, Mark, the challenge is to take 12 to 14 Benadryl pills to create a hallucination, but instead it turned deadly for 13-year-old Jacob Stevens. Tonight, I spoke with a pharmacist and an internet safety specialist on how to prevent online challenges from impacting your child. Jacob Stevens' parents have been sharing this picture to show what the Benadryl challenge did to their 13-year-old son. A challenge that's intended to be comical led to an overdose using a drug that's meant for allergies to get a high, or even worse, in Stephen's case. Linda Rowland has been a pharmacist for more than 40 years. She was surprised that kids were doing this to get a high, since she says the drug is more likely to bring you down than up. Most of the time, it's the classic drowsiness, sleepiness, chest congestion, f focusing becomes difficult. And usually the next thing is that you fall asleep. Scott Driscoll specializes in internet safety and says when incidents like this happen, the app usually takes related videos down. Eyewitness News searched the trend to see what comes up, and we found this screen informing users about how drugs can affect your mind, body, and behavior. Now, when talking to your kids about TikTok, Driscoll recommends reminding your kids that the video represents an actual person with real consequences. And I always tell kids, put yourself in that person's shoes. You might laugh at it and you might like it if somebody gets hurt, but what if that's you? Instead of someone texting you saying, are you okay? We're liking something on social media where someone gets hurt. He adds that speaking out can prevent trends from becoming dangerous and deadly. Maybe we reach out to the person or re report it to our parents, report it to police that, hey, someone's in danger. Instead of just liking it and adding fuel to the fire, let's get involved the right way. And Driscoll also wants to remind parents that according to TikTok terms and conditions, 13 is the minimum age for the app. In the newsroom, Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Just so tragic. Hector, thank you very much. And